Hello, I'm Viet Cường. You're watching Taiwan News. Today's headlines. Results of program building new rural areas in Taiwan province. Delegation from Castle Friedrich High School, Germany, visit and present gifts to Agent Orange victims in Taiwan. Planning press publication by 2020 to pave the way for journalism development in Taiwan province. On June 21st, Taiwan Provincial People's Council held a meeting to announce the supervising results of the implementation process of the National Target Program for building new rural areas in the period 2010-2020. After three years of implementing the National Target Program for Building New Rural Area, Taiwan Province has received great support and achieved crucial results, contributing significantly to change the face of its local rural areas. With a total investment of more than 12,000 bullion Vietnam Dong, now the whole province with 143 communes completed the preparation and approval for new rural areas planned. 80 of the 143 communes had their new rural areas building projects ratified, 37 communes got their production development projects approved, 67 kilometers of irrigation channel, nearly 2,700 kilometers of rural roads, 80 power stations, 160 schools and 35 communal medical stations, etc., have been completed with the people's contribution in working days and thousands of square meters of land. With regards to completing the national criteria set up to May 2013, three communes fulfilled 14 to 19 criteria, 51 communes meeting 9 to 13 criteria, 72 communes satisfying 5 to 8 criteria, and 17 communes of less than 5 criteria. During the implementation process, there remain difficulties and limitations to which the branches and levels will find solutions. At the meeting, the delegates showed their mutual agreement to the supervising report of implementing the national target program of building new rural areas and at the same time contributed ideas and suggestions to the written report. On June 20, 2013, the group of teachers and students from Castle Friedrich School, Federal Republic of Germany, in collaboration with the Faculty of German, Hanoi University, held a program to visit and present gifts to the Agent Orange victims in Taiwan province. At the meeting, the teachers and students in Kassan Friedrich School were briefed about the Vietnam War and the consequences of the U.S. imperialism on this land and about Asian Orient victims who are the living proof of war brutality, expressing admiration and sharing with the pain that the victims of Asian Orient have suffered. The teachers and students in Friedrich School raised an amount of about 8 million Vietnam Dong for Asian Orient victims with the hope to contribute in helping them. On behalf of the Asian RMB teams in Taiwan province, the chairman of the Asian RMB teams association thanked the kindness show by the teachers and students from Free Eric School. After the meeting, the delegation distributed presents to some Asian RMB teams in the province. On June 19, Vietnam International Exhibition of Film and Television Technology, Telefilm 2013, was officially launched at ICE International Exhibition Center. The exhibition was organized for the first time in Vietnam. Telefilm exhibition was broadcast by Vietnam Television Station and was implemented by the Advertising and Television Service Center in collaboration with Adpex Joint Stock Company. Over 200 booths participated in the exhibition that include the central and local television stations, television channels, movie studios, media companies, technology and business television equipment companies in Vietnam, and the television stations of Japan, Korea, China, Malaysia, and Denmark, etc. Taiwan television's dramas, films, and documentaries were introduced and presented simultaneously. Vietnam International Exhibition of Film and Television Technology is an international event and will be held annually. On the eve of June 19, the Preschool Kids House, Taiwan Children's House, held the 10th Chao Wan Bak Ho Festival, the festival for well-behaved children. 
The program was broadcast live on Channel TN1, Taiwan Radio and Television Station. The program was opened with the performance welcoming the jubilant atmosphere of the festival filled with memories of beloved Uncle Ho. Speaking at the meeting, Mr. Nguyen Ding Phak, Secretary of Taiwan Provincial Party Committee, praised the children for their recent achievements and expressed his hope that Taiwan children will continue to strive harder to become well-behaved and outstanding pupils, following Uncle Ho's five ideologies for children. The 100 typical children present at the festival are bright examples having distinguished achievements in study and self-improvement. These distinguished children, representing the 140,000 children in Taiwan province, must have made Uncle Ho very proud. The Council of Taiwan Organizations awarded merit certificates to 100 dead guests and nine silent children group leaders in the school year 2011, 2012, and 2012, 2013. In order to provide favorable conditions for the operation of press agencies, Taiwan Province developed the project Planning Press Publication by 2020 in Taiwan. This was established to create an important foundation for the operation of press agencies according to principles, purpose and information orientation for good journalism and to closely bridge the development of this career with the socio-economic development of the province, improving the spiritual life of the people. In the process of innovation and the world economy integration led by the Vietnam Communist Party, the role of the press is constantly improving. For Taiwan, in recent years, the press agencies have been actively propagandizing the perspectives, guidelines of the party, laws and policies of the state, reflecting the diversity and prompt development in all aspects of social life. However, the development process showed some limitations, and one of the critical causes of those limitations is due to the lack of a master plan for press development. The press agencies consulted and advised among themselves to achieve professional qualifications to meet modern information technology for social economic development of the province by 2020. For its contribution, Taiwan Press will be associated with all the newspapers in the country to promote the image of Taiwan. According to the press publication and development planning of Taiwan Province by 2020, the printed press will be released daily in newspapers, Taiwan Art Press and Electronic Publications by 2015, and Labor Union Magazines by 2020. Moreover, Taiwan Provincial Radio and Television will be developed into a large-scale multimedia communication agency and the central station of the northern midland and mountainous areas by 2015, and will provide digital broadcasting infrastructure service to northern midland and mountainous areas by 2020 with a 100% radio broadcasting coverage. Additionally, Taiwan Electronic Newspaper will be constructed into a modern electronic newsroom model that will be released in three languages, Vietnamese, English and Chinese. Taiwan Electronic Portal will be upgraded to become an electronic portal of the government, etc. Planning press publication by 2020 has been approved as a good legal basis for journalism development. As the project aims to better serve economic and social development of the province, the press will focus on rural and mountainous life and its local people. The party's newspaper will reach every hamlet and broadcasting will come to every home. No stage in history has the press developed brightly and flourishingly as today, not only to meet the requirement of content and form, but also to ensure the regulation of the state. Obviously, compared to many other localities, journalistic activities in Taiwan province are very rich and diverse. Therefore, the growth of newspaper development planning and its publication in Taiwan province by 2020 with specific objectives has been identified to be an important foundation for improving the quality of journalism to satisfy the requirement of providing more information for people. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.